Hi naturals, welcome to Dima Ogike. On this channel, I share a lot of natural amazing hair growth remedies to improve hair growth, thickness and health. Please, before you continue watching, kindly hit that red button that says subscribe on your interface and share this video with your family and friends if you enjoyed watching it. I also have a second channel, Dima Space, which I'll be spelling out for you on the screen. You can subscribe to that channel because I'll be sharing my lifestyle and other stuff which I can share on this channel there. Lastly, please ensure you watch this video to the end as all instructions will be stated towards the end of the video. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the best hair growth oil you've ever come across. Remember, this recipe is very simple and anyone can do this. Before you do this, make sure your papaya is fully ripe, papaya fruit so to say. Now, cut them into halves and then scoop out the seeds into a bowl because you're going to be washing the seeds. So after scooping out the seeds, I will either eat the meat or I will use it to make a lightening body oil. To the other half, I'm going to be repeating the process. After scooping all the seeds out, I'm going to be washing them in a strainer or in the bowl and then transferring it to a strainer, making sure that there are no remaining pulp on the seeds. Then after washing the seeds, I'm going to be laying them on a tray. The tray is going to help me dry them under the sun. And if you have a dehydrator, please go ahead and use it to dry this. No need to suffer yourself. So I'm going to be laying all of that on my tray. Remember, these are not all the seeds because I'm going to be doing the rest off camera. Then lay them under the sun to dry. Then I will return to show you after drying. It took me about two to three days to dry it because we are in winter season here in Nigeria. So stuff dries faster than before. So this is the dried version of our papaya seeds. So we are going to proceed for the next process. Who would have thought that papaya seeds are beneficial for hair treatment? These are the things I do for you. I research and bring a lot to your knowledge. All you need to do is to boost this video by giving me a thumbs up and then leaving a comment for me in the comment section below. Just in case you don't know what to type, just say thank you in the comment section below. Who would have believed that papaya seeds could improve the growth of your hair? On this channel, we have told round papaya tree. We started with the leaves and then the powder. And then now we are on the fruit. This tree is amazing. Anything about papaya is amazing, both for your health and all that good stuff. Now to begin, grab a tablespoon and measure out three tablespoons of your dried papaya seeds there are many vitamins and nutrients contained in papaya seeds one of the nutrients is glucoside casserine dung capain which has benefits to make hair color become more black in natural way without using any chemical products now as a village girl that i am i'm going to be using my mortar and pestle to grind this if you have this in your house or in your village please say hi in the comment section below now i'm going to be pounding this it took me about 30 minutes to do but i love using this mortar and pestle than using blender because i don't know i just love this now, after pounding this with my mortar and pestle, I'm going to be transferring it back to the bowl and then proceed to the next process. In addition, papaya seeds contain small amounts of carbohydrates, protein, water, ash, fats related to its function for hair growth and ability to make black hair. 
It is associated with the glucoside casserine done content. Apparently, not only the seeds of papaya that can be beneficial for hair growth, but also the leaves are beneficial too with health benefits. Now, to begin, grab a jar free of moisture and then measure out olive oil. I'm going to be using olive oil for this process because it's one of my favorite carrier oil. You can use coconut oil, sweet almond oil and the rest. I transferred half a cup of my olive oil into the jar and then poured the papaya seed, now the powdered papaya seed into the jar and then stir to combine all the ingredients. For my people watching me from Nigeria, please this is Popo. We usually call papaya popo here in Nigeria because I know a lot of you will be asking in the comment section below. So I have to make this clear. So I also added my black Jamaican castor oil into that and then stirred to combine all the ingredients using a DIY double boiler method where I poured water in my pan, brought to a boil. I have to place my jar in it and then begin stirring. This is a form of oil infusion. Remember in my other video, I explained other forms you can use to infuse your oil. This is one of them. So after 15 minutes, this oil is ready. Bring it down to a surface. Allow this to cool down completely before you sieve to avoid burning your hands. So I'm going to be using a bowl a strainer and a cheese cloth to sieve this just to avoid particles getting into the oil so i'm going to be sieving this please if you want this oil to be more please use more of the olive oil to get more of this i just wanted to show you guys because i already have the one that i already made before now so I just want to show you this, hence the reason why I just use half a cup of the olive oil. So once this oil is ready, transfer it into your applicator bottle for easy application. That's the reason why we use this. Please keep watching for the next ingredients. Please note that these ingredients are optional. I added my lavender essential oil in five drops and then eucalyptus essential oil in five drops as well you can skip this but for the love of castor oil i decided to add that then after adding that cover up and then shake to combine before use before i forget please note that this oil can darken hair over time and secondly this oil can be used in your shampoos you can drop it in your shampoos and used to wash your hair. Papaya seeds contains folic acids, which is able to improve hair follicles, circulation, and stimulate hair growth. The antifungal properties in papaya seeds, nutrition content are very important to help beating the fungus, which causes a fungal infection. A fungal infection is the main cause of dandruff. Before I continue with the benefits, so i use this oil as a scalp massage you can use it for pre pull you can use it in your deep conditioners you can use it in your shampoos but i love to use it to massage my scalp this oil helps with hair thickness and darkening of the hair hence the reason why i love to use it to massage my scalp every night so do not miss this oil if you want your hair to be thick papaya seeds are the best hair conditioner because it keeps hair soft and hydrated it can be used as conditioner because it contains high vitamin a in which could promote sebum production sebum is body's natural oil there are many unexpected benefits of papaya seeds for hair growth. Papaya seeds contain substances that will nourish your hair shaft and add volume to your hair, especially for those of you who have tress and shear volume hair. People often experience thinning hair because of hair fall problems. It can be solved by consuming papaya juice regularly 
two to three times a day. One of the nutrition contents of papaya seeds is protein called papain. It has the ability to strengthen the hair and make hair shafts strong from the root to the tip. While applying this oil, do not forget your problem areas. As you can see in the video, I'm trying to apply this on my edges. Whether you have bald spots or not, make sure to apply this on your edges because they are part of your hair too. Your edges and your nibs. We tend to neglect this. Always apply your products there. Edges and nibs. Take note. So after applying and working this all in, I use my massage brush to give myself a gentle massage. Just like I taught in my other video dedicated to scalp massages, I told you that while massaging your scalp, that you shouldn't um, rip off your hair. Rather, you should hold the brush firmly to your scalp and then move in circular motion while moving in circular motion make sure that your skin around that area is moving and not your hair so here i'm trying to show you that you can also apply this oil on your hair shaft and not just on your scalp hence the reason why i loosened one of my twists and then i'm trying to apply this oil there so after application cover up your hair with a plastic bag or cap i'm so sorry i didn't show that in this video just to trap some heat and make this work perfectly for storage please store this all in cabinets cool dry place preferably do not refrigerate that brings me to the end of today's video please if you have more questions for me regarding papaya seeds Please do where to drop it in the comment section. Just so you know, I reply every comment. Also, do not forget to tuck in your ends because the weather is not smiling. Tuck in your ends. Make sure your ends are always tucked in to avoid split ends. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you shortly. Bye.